Good morning, good morning, Gavin here. Thought I'd get up and give you a 10 minute workout. So we're gonna do a little bit of hit, cardio and core. We've got 50 seconds of work, 10 seconds rest for a total of 10 minutes. So it's gonna be a blast. I say we're gonna work the lungs, the core. It's gonna be good fun. Before I get into that though, I wanna tell you about something I've got starting in September. So I'm running a five day challenge, a free challenge to help women over 40 to flatten their belly permanently without all the crazy diets and killer workout routines, okay? So if you're looking for something that's a bit more sustainable rather than hopping on a diet for a couple of weeks, losing your motivation, leaving it a few months, hopping on another diet, all that sort of thing that a lot of women do, so the yo-yo thing, and you wanna check that out. I'm gonna drop that in the comments for you later on after this workout. So keep your eyes peeled for that. But if you're ready and you're watching this, make sure you say hello, give me a like, thumbs up, all that shenanigans, and we're gonna get cracking. So let's say 50 seconds work, 10 seconds rest. If you can do this workout with me right now, let's get it, let's go. Lateral slides to begin with. We're gonna go from one side of the mat to the other, nice and quick, looks like this. Bit of pace, that's that change of direction that really gets the legs. So I'm gonna start the timer. 50 seconds work, here we go. 10 minutes in total, let's warm it up a little bit. Change of direction, you're reaching down to the ground. Shin, floor if you can, if your back is up to that. But it's that change of direction. We're getting warm, getting into the groove of this. So, it's early here, it's what, 6.30 in the morning. So uh, let me know where you're from if you're watching this around the world. It'd be great to hear from you. And even better, it'd be great if you're doing it. So even if you're watching this later on, you're watching the replay. Give me a hashtag replay in the comments there. All right, nearly done here. We've got 10 more seconds. I'm gonna get down to the mat into a rolling plank. So we've got 10 seconds for me to show you what to do. And then we're gonna crack on. All right, there we go. So we've got the low plank position, which is this. Feet are gonna be wide. I'm gonna roll to the side. A nice strong line through the body. Tuck your arm back in, roll back to the other side. And that is all it is. Now notice the straight line, my feet are on the sides. And then breathing out every time we turn. Here we go. We're living the dream this morning. Looks like it's gonna be a nice day here. Good, turn and breathe. All right, we've got just over 10 seconds. And we're going into some jumping jacks. All right, back up on your feet. Bit of spring. Old jumping jacks, we're here. We should know that one. If you can't do that one, perhaps a bit too high impact. Step version, like so. Come on, let's go. So you can go at your own pace with this. In fact, you can go at your own pace for the whole of the workout. Everybody's starting at a different point. So looking to turn that dial up towards the end of this workout, but also just in general. So wherever you're starting, but looking to get those little bits of improvement each time you do these workouts. All right, come on now. Get those feet wide, swing those arms up. Deep breaths, I'm gonna come in quickly. See who we got. Yeah, see there's a couple of you in there. All right. Next up, cross body mountain climbers. So we're down to the ground. You can put your hands on a table or a chair. We're here, cross to the other elbow, and then add a little bit of pace in. Swing it across each time. So we're gonna get a little bit core in this one as well. So it's definitely keeping the heart rate up, but it's pretty much like a high plank. We're gonna bring the knee up, 
We're engaging the core as well. Five, four, three, two, and one. Boom. All right, on to two, you're back. Now twist the mic round. We've got bicycles coming up. So, lay back. Relax for a second. And then here we go. Long leg, knee in, going to opposites. So making sure we get the leg out nice and long. See a lot of people doing this on like a little tricycle. That's no good, no good. Get it out. Bush, bush. Good control. If you're struggling with that one, you can kind of keep your head down, hands under the butt slightly. That's an option for you as well. Okay, last couple of seconds. Boom. Back up on your feet. Let's see how you're doing over here. Are you okay? All right, I'm gonna get a cheeky look at what's next as well. Warrior jumps. All right, the warrior jumps. They look like this. Hands together, feet together. Drop down to the side, back up. Let's go. Drop, spring. So again, that Getting your feet wide at the bottom. Open up those legs. And again, if this one's too tricky, step version. So we're here, down, up, down, up. All right. There's always something that you can do to, to change it up slightly. Come on. Just stay with me. Big effort. Woo. All right, onto the mat again. So sit your butt down. We're here in position. Russian twist, so back straight. The further you lean back, the harder it's going to be. You can take your feet off the ground as well if you want to. But we're here. Good control. Moving the shoulders. We're trying to keep their back in good shape at the same time. So far, so good. Come on. Digging deep now. You might start to feel those abs working. Last few seconds, and relax. All right, back on your feet. All right, how are we doing out there? All right, next one. Walk out burpee. Down to the ground or a table, walk it back, walk back in, come up, jump and clap if you can, otherwise just down tall. So good pace on this one, you want to keep that heart rate up. Go next to his neighbor's dog having a go at me now. Come on. And you can do a full burpee, like so, then go for it, okay? Just because I tell you to do the walkout doesn't necessarily mean you have to do that one. Good, relax. Next up, we're gonna go low plank. Lock and load. So really trying to squeeze everything. Feet together this time. Pulling your elbows down towards your toes. And then keep it steady there. So pulling that belly button in towards the spine. Squeezing your butt cheeks for all they're worth. 
Not long left. Not long. All right, last. What do we got? 15 seconds to go. So keep it rigid, straight line from the ankle up to the shoulders. Breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. Three, two, one. Boom. All right, we have one more exercise. All right, we're gonna do a squat with a toe tap very, very fast. This is the finish on a high. So we're here, down, springing out of it. Knee comes up, so we're still engaging the abs. All right, come with me. Nice and fast. Just hitting your ankle or your laces. Gotta be quick though. Gotta be powerful as you bring that knee up. Come on, this is to finish. 10 minutes done after this one. Come on, working those legs now. Back straight, keep that head up. Avoiding the hunchback. Chin up, don't look down. Woo. And there we go. That's it. A little 10 minutes, 10 minute treat for you there. So, you can carry on now if you want. You can do another round, but I'm gonna do a little stretch for you. Deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. Relax. Let's take it in for a moment. Big smiles. The sun is just coming up behind the camera here, but I gotta say it's definitely looking like a nice day today. All right, from there, push your heels down towards the ground. Lift your butt up as high as you can. So we're stretching the back of the legs there, the hamstrings. Still controlling your breathing. Push those heels down a little bit more. Lift your butt up. From there, take a step to the side. Stretching the inner thigh here. Lean it across. Let's get a good stretch in there. So let me know how that went down for you. Good start to the day. How did your core do with some of those exercises? And are there any in that bag that you thought, oh, I don't like that one. But with these workouts, I always try to give you something that you can adapt if you need to. So like the burpees, you can do the walkout burpees. Any of the jumping jack combos, you can do the walking versions. From here, pushing my hips forward, trying to get a stretch in the pocket here. And then to get a little bit more out of there, I'm gonna reach up high. Down, spin it around, I'm gonna go to the other side, same thing. Pushing those hips forward much longer than a lunge, so you see the knees right behind me. And from there, I reach it up, keep my balance. And then if you need to for balance, you're gonna go over a quad stretch, but holding on to a rail, a wall, push your knees together, and then push your hips forward slightly. So we're all done, just 10 minutes. You can squeeze that in to your day, no matter what you're doing. So many people say, that, I haven't got time, I haven't got time. 10 minutes, that is all that is. Not, I mean, I'm outside, so not massively sweaty, but you can definitely squeeze 10 minutes into your day. No doubt about that. So make time for that, okay? That is what I'm trying to say. You'll feel better for it. You'll burn some fat. It'll spike your fatless hormones. And it's good for the old noggin too. All right, so I'm gonna leave you there. I will see you next time. Have a great day.